There are so many stories of sorrow and uncertainty as people on Maui mourn the dead, search for the missing, return home to find abject destruction. Here's Miguel Almaguer. As the smoke and flames finally began to clear, tonight here in Lahaina, a new crisis unfolds. In this desolate, tortured landscape, the search for the missing and for the dead. That's our house right there. Kimo Kirkman has finally made it home, but all he has found is heartbreak. Oh my God, he's brutal bull. It's the most heartbreaking thing I've ever been through. We first met the Kirkmans Thursday, who, like so many families, waited for days on the side of the road or inside shelters for this chance to go home. Why do you get emotional talking about your community? Because I love my community. They've, they've raised my girls with me. The Kirkmans have closure, but far too many are haunted by the silence. Tonight, there is no official number for the missing. While some fear it may be as high as a 1,000, a stream of pleas cry out on social media. Mothers, fathers, children, desperate to find loved ones. What goes through my mind is, is, do I just go over there and find my dad? Because no one else is. From California, Kimberly Boone is waiting for any word about her father. 79-year-old Shadow hasn't been seen since the flames overtook his neighborhood. Where days that go by, those numbers are going to go up. And if he did get evacuated... Where did he get evacuated to? There's there's no information regarding that. Jason Gatea says his mother is also unaccounted for. My plan is to get on a plane, fly out there and find out what the heck is going on. Yvonne Weldon hasn't responded to the urgent calls from loved ones. A Maui resident of 20 years, she lived in the heart of Lahaina. What worries you, is it internet access or is it something else? Many here believe the death toll is far greater than the number confirmed. Residents continue to tell us there are bodies in homes, cars, and in the water. Survivors tell us when the fire first hit Lahaina, there wasn't warning or much time to evacuate. Imagine being home, hearing screams and looking outside and seeing a wall of flames. That's what neighbors say happened right here. We're all a family. We all, we, we don't even lock our doors in our neighborhood. There's nothing here for us anymore. It's, it was just devastating. Tonight, so much destruction and so much uncertainty in this paradise now turned to ash. And Miguel, I'm looking at that line of cars over your shoulder that appears to be no end to the number of people trying to get back into Lahaina. Yeah, Lester, this line of traffic stretches for miles. We know so many folks, it'll be their first time returning back to the burn zone. Many share similar stories to the ones you just heard. They are looking for loved ones, and many have lost it all. Lester. I'm just thinking the nervous anticipation of the folks in those cars. All right, Miguel, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.